this is idu clear all the doubts confusions will be clear here in this channels from any topics any subjects okay today's topic is nutrients why do you study nutrients because there is a lot of confusions between nutrients proteins uh, vitamins many students are confusing um, the meaning of nutrients proteins they think they think that proteins and nutrients are not same uh, vitamins are proteins are not same they, they sometimes say it they are same so let me explain to you uh, let me clarify these doubts and confusions okay now let's firstly what is the meaning of nutrients where do we get nutrients we get nutrients from food and the food provides new lot of nutrients to our body what are the nutrients that is the very very important question nutrients are substances that provide nourishment needed for growth and maintenance of life what are the substances questions arise i'll tell you nutrients are the substances see what are the substances substances are number one carbohydrate number two proteins number three fats vitamins minerals graphics all together form nutrients i'll tell you the concept of this nutrients you say nutrients you we put s or we, or we can either put s or uh s or or we can either put singular or plural and here what are nutrients we say nutrients which means it includes uh, carbohydrates proteins fat but if you say nutrient it can be either uh, carbohydrate or pro proteins or fats I'll, I'll take one example let's say a, a person let's say a persons persons can be a boy or girl or boys is also a person and girls is also a person but instead of calling them a person we can call them a boy if we know who they are or we can also we can either call them a girl or children or old men see likewise nutrients nutrient let's say singular nutrients can either be a carbohydrates or proteins or fats it is a is a name it is a compound name for the substances which i have mentioned carbohydrates let's say only one we, we, we can say this is nutrient and if we put s carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins minerals together form nutrients if we say nutrient it can be either of uh protein or fat or carbohydrates or vitamin any of them okay and now i believe we we are clear about this i mean about this and i'll tell you let's say the importance of nutrients all this let's say all this six substances six nutrients together together uh, uh makes our body perfect all our bodies has to be provided with all those nutrients like carbohydrate proteins fats let's say i have 100 percent vitamins even if i have 100 percent vitamins in my body i'll not be able to live if i lack proteins even if i have 100 percent proteins fats carbohydrates if but if i lack vitamins or minerals i'll not be able to live just say let's say that i have all kinds of nutrients 100 percent nutrients but i lack only roughage let's say number six roughage I'll not be able to do isation. I'll not be able to uh, live because I lack this vitamin. So all different kinds of uh, nutrients has to be provided in our body for the survival and maintenance of life. Okay, now let's go to the functions of the uh, nutrients. As I've told you, the meaning of nutrients, it is a compound. Nutrient can be either, either of them, like proteins, uh, nutrients, vitamins. Okay, number one, let's discuss what are carbohydrates and functions carbohydrates are the compounds they are compounds containing of carbon hydrogen and oxygen they together form carbohydrates and carbohydrates have many many types number one um, uh, stars fructose lactose glucose cellulose there are five types of carbohydrates and the functions carbohydrates provide energy to our body this is very important because it provides uh, energy to our body and the carbo uh, and the foods rich in carbohydrates are uh, number one Number ones are um, bread, rice, or simply, I'll tell you, uh, you we, we already know the meaning of cereals, 
Carbohydrate rich foods are the food made from the cereals. I believe you already know this in the previous video. Okay, now this provides energy to our body and it is very important. We will not, we will not be able to live this without this carbohydrate, even if we have proteins, vitamins. And now let's move on to the next. That is proteins. Proteins is a very important. This is also a compounds, which is very essential part of all living organisms. What is an organism? You know, like animal, animal, bird, fishes, or human beings, they are called uh, organisms. And proteins, rich food, are also called a body building food because it, uh, these proteins help in growth and repair of tissues of our body. This repair or this, uh, this repair the broken tissues or it this repair the uh, damaged tissues. It is very important. Without proteins, we will not have any repairing in our body and we will not be able to live. It's very important. These, these proteins, I tell you, uh, hormones and enzymes are also proteins. Without hormones, we will not grow. There will be no growth in our body. Without hormones, there is no physical appearance. There is no different traits in our body. Because of these hormones, we are growing. We reach that stage. We are able to live because of the hormones and enzymes. Enzymes is very important for our digestion. Not only digestion, there are many parts I will discuss you in the next, in the next slide. And now, proteins have been grown in the peers. It is also very important in transport process. Uh, we, we, I believe you know when we say transport, that is not our main focus. Main focus is the meaning of uh, and nutrients and their parts. Number three, fat. Fat is also very important. Fat provides very important energy to us. It, com it, is, it provides more energy to uh, carbohydrate. More energy than carbohydrate. The fat-rich foods are... Uh, butter, where or any kinds of fried food. All the fried foods, you know, cup potato fried. Uh, we, we, we know many kinds of fried. So, this fried contains a lot of fat. And this fat provides a lot of energy to our body. So, without energy, how, how will we live? So, and now, food rich in carbohydrates and fats are, are, are called uh, energy giving foods. Example, there are, example, uh, maize, rice, tortilla, you know, tortilla and chapati cereals. As I've already mentioned, cereals. And lastly, uh, vitamins. Vitamin is very, very essential for our body because these vitamins protect against diseases. See, uh, as I've already uh, mentioned before, even if I have fat, 100% fat, 100% proteins, uh, minerals, roughage, but if I lack of vitamins, I'll not be able to live. Because it says it keeps our eyes, teeth, gums strong, and it protects against disease. Lack of, lack of one important nutrient will lead to the death of any organism. Uh, we have so many vitamins: one, uh, one vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin C, vitamin B, vitamin K. And I will explain to you one important one that is vitamin B complex. Why vitamin B complex? Why not vitamin B simply? But what? But what, uh, why complex? Because uh, we have eight kinds of eight different types of vitamins, which are similar in their functions. That's why, since their functions are different, so uh, I mean same. So all those different eight different vitamins are put together in one place. That is vitamin B in vitamin B. Because of those egg combination of these eight different vitamins, we call it vitamin B complex. And this is also very important. Uh, you provide the strength of our teeth and bones. <clears throat> okay. Now, now let's move to the next. That is by minerals. Minerals. Or oh, you may be confusing what mineral is. Mineral is a compound name again. Magnesium, calcium, iron, etc. All these together form minerals. Minerals are present in our body. This is also very important uh, part of the nutrient. It helps to keep our bones strong and strong teeth. It is also very important for our skin, nerve functions, and metabolic processes. What is metabolic process? You may be thinking what it is, or you may know it. Uh, don't worry, I will explain in the next video. Metabolic process, uh, it, uh, in deep meaning, in, in deep scientific meaning, it is about respiration. When we breathe it, we take in oxygen, and we breathe out again on carbon dioxide because of the cellular oxidation in, our, in the cells of our body. Okay, this is 
this may be a bit complicated for us. Uh, I'll explain it in the next. And the food breeze minerals are spinach, fish, processed bean, green, leafy, vegetable, etc. And now, next, the last one, that is um, refetch. I'll explain to you. Refetch is very important, important nutrients again. This is very important because without this, we will not be even be able to pass the stool. We pass stool because of this refetch. We may have uh, vitamin, mineral, minerals, 100% minerals, vitamin 100%, protein 100%, uh, 100%, everything 100%, all 100%, but if we don't have refetch, we will not be able to pass stool. That is a sad news. <laughs> That's why uh, all the nutrients has to be provided in our body for the survival of our body and for nourishment. You see, it it helps. This refresh helps body to get rid of undigested food. The undigested food come out of our bowels uh, in the form of stool. You see, and there is so called ingestion. No ingestion without refresh. There is the importance of refresh. The food reason refresh are fruits, vegetables, potatoes, etc. Most importantly, the uh, uh, banana. I believe, I hope, you understand the meanings of nutrients and their parts. All kinds of nutrients are essential for our body, for the survival. And I am very thankful to you. Please do more. Uh, watch in the next video and subscribe to my channel for latest updates and for more important and interesting videos. Thank you.